What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and if I seem a little bit under the weather, I actually just woke up because your boy's fucking sick. I recently went to Austin, Texas with my boy Shofu and we were playing with Achievement Hunters, we saw all this Ruby stuff, Rooster Teeth headquarters was crazy and we had a great time. The only problem is that there were so many goddamn infected people in the airport and my immune system, not exactly the strongest, I don't know why it's been lacking lately, but I caught pretty much everything under the goddamn sun and then some. But I'm going to be okay. Your boy took a little bit of medicine. I lost my voice for a little, but I'm back now. Let's talk about the recent changes to Smash Brothers. And we all know what this means. 1.1.6 recently dropped in a game that we presume was finished for weeks now. But of course, we've been getting constant updates ever since Bayonetta came out. And now we have one that finally, apparently, put Bayonetta in a goddamn box. Now, it's a little too early to just assume totally that the character themselves is dead. But Bayonetta right now, she ain't looking too good when it comes to stuff that she used to be able to do in comparison to what she can do right now let's take a look at exactly what the hell this details entails i think the patch came out around yesterday what's interesting about that patch however is that niggas knew from the japanese uh website that the patch was going to be coming out so nintendo sort of announced it which made everybody a little bit nervous it even got me a little bit excited because i said hey maybe that boy wolf can come through and save your boy's precious jewels but it didn't happen of course so they're still on the table ready to be taken off at any moment don't you worry i didn't forget shit but let's look at exactly what these changes for bayonetta all came together for because if you look at the list and it's so crazy not just did they, you know, totally nerf Bayonetta, but the only thing this patch touched was Bayonetta. What the fuck? Let's take a look at this, man. So we're going to go to Smashboards 1.1.6. That's an easy way to find out any information when it comes to the new patches in Smash Brothers for future reference, although I've talked about this before. It's the first post right here. And, of course, it starts with, the ride never ends, does it? Welcome to the official thread for version 1.1.6. The thread not only contains the patch notes, but also the discussion for it. And it talks about a couple other things too. They don't like people fake posting updates to patches and stuff. But anyways, and uh, one other interesting part. <coughs> the file size of the patch on the Wii U. 65 megabytes on 3DS. 325 megabytes. And that's due to the 3DS apparently having to re-download all the patches from before. Just to make them all work for the current patch again. I don't know why. Let's look at these changes, man. Now, of course, I'm not a 100% Smash analytist. Um, excuse me, an, um, analytic, a, analytics, a, 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 anal, analyst. There we go. <laughs> she got it. She got it. I, I'm not on my shit right now. Okay, your boy's sick. Give me some slack. I'm sick. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Anyways, your boy. I'm not exactly an. A fucking whiz kid when it comes to breaking down the smash data in terms of the knockback gain and all that stuff But you can see all this here and every single percent value numeric value that's here is going down So hitbox size reduced from 3.5 to 2.8 all of these changes are look pretty damn significant on their own So when you compile all these together for Bayonetta as a whole they, they, they nerf the shit out of her man As you can see down tilt nerfed fair nerfed but some of these may not be considered nerfs because if you reduce the knockback on certain moves, maybe it's easier to combo out of them. But we can see the damage percentages got nerfed big time here. Dive kick damage reduced. The angle that it knocks you um, changed totally. So one thing that uh, I think if you guys really wanted to see a total like actual breakdown of some of the data. Because he didn't do all of it. But some of the data, a good place to check out would be my nigga E. Sam. Who actually covered a lot of this in more specific detail. In more of a rough manner in a sense. So I'll, sh I'll link you to his video as well covering the Bayonetta changes because I never played with the character. So I won't be able to tell you myself, not just because, you know, I, won't, I don't know how to cover it, but I've never played Bayonetta. I, I really have no interest in playing her right now, that is. I do want to play her games, though, but I never played her in Smash Brothers. So I can't tell you for a fact, oh, this changed. I felt this different. If they changed somebody like Corrin or Robin, your boy would know right away, but I don't know Bayonetta. So anyways, E. Sam's video about it is pretty interesting. He goes through some of the changes and how Smash DI can be used now to get out of a combos really early. Even with a character like Fox, who's known to be really combo prone. So I mean, big time changes are being made to the queen of Smash Brothers. A lot of people call her the queen because she's the best character. I mean, but, but dude, it's so fucking crazy. I feel like it's it was almost, it was suiting for Bayonetta to be at the top of the tier like that. I mean, with the way her personality is and how she's portrayed in her games, it's almost as if she's meant to be the home wrecker. She's the home wrecker of Smash Brothers, man. Similar to what Relax Relax said. I support that notion 100%, man. Although, you know, the fact that she 
because somewhat toxic to the game can't be denied. I still feel like nerfing her to this extent was a little excessive. And for what Estam showed us, just the stuff that he showed us, a couple of the changes that they made, already you can see she's nothing like the character she used to be in the slightest, never will be ever again. And it's almost like, you know, he mentioned that Diddy Kong had his hoo-ha nerfed, but he was still a very viable character in the upper tiers. Bayonetta, is she still super viable in the upper tiers? We don't know. There's not been enough time, so we can't really test it. No tournaments yet. So we can't really gauge if her performance is going to be totally hindered by this move, by this massive nerf that Daddy Sakurai gave us from the heavens above. But all we can say for a fact is that she ain't the Bayonetta that she was before. 1.1.5 for Bayonetta are dead. Right now we have this brand new one, and we're going to have to wait and see exactly what she can pull off. But everything right here, as you can see, is a nerf. We are, she's not the character from beforehand. So if you use Bayonetta yourself, some people were saying, Oh man, great for Sakurai to, to scam the players who bought her. You know, oh man, now I'm not getting my money's worth, dude. I mean, you always you have to understand that when you agree to buy a DLC or anything, it always says that the content is subject to changes and tweaks. Um, you, you agree to that every single time you purchase DLC. So I mean, that's not really a case of you being scammed, I think. <coughs> And plus, it's not like Sakurai says when you buy the character, oh, guaranteed upper tiers, you know, your gameplay will improve when you buy the skin. There's no agreement like that. Although it seems like sometimes there is, considering everybody from the 599 crew is pretty top tier, um, aside from maybe Roy and maybe Lucas. But still, I don't think there's a case of scamming here, but rather just characters being changed. I mean, my Corin, my barefoot waifu, she got fucking nerfed a little bit. Her run speed was reduced. That's a pretty damn big nerf. But I don't feel like I was been, I've been scammed. I think she's still very viable. Even if she wasn't viable, I still don't think I'm being scammed because... Overall, I like Corrin as a character a lot, so that's the only reason why I play her and Robin. But on top of it all, we also have some other interesting news about Corrin coming through. You all have known Smash mods have been a thing for a while now. I didn't cover them when they initially came on the scene. I was going through a lot of stuff at that time with a lot of editing and background stuff. I'm not really trying to like spend too much time on those things anymore, but... Corin has a smash mod for her now, which brings back my most favorite feature of her design. And I made a big stink about this in the beginning, but it wasn't enough for me to, you know, start a revolt or anything. I'm not going to fucking totally just deny playing the character based off of one subtle aesthetic change. But Corin got a smash mod made for her, which, which uncensors her, makes her fully the design that she was intended to have from Fire Emblem Fates. And if you played Fire Emblem Fates, you use female corn, you know what I'm talking about. Ignore my nudes right here on my Twitter page. Yesterday was National Send a Nude Day, so I decided to send you dudes some nudes. Hopefully you understand. But boy, boy, someone sent me a picture yesterday, and I'm going to find this dude's Twitter for you right now. What was his name on here, man? It was, um, okay then, so Young young Echi, Iche, Echi, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but yo, Young Echi, I mean, I, 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 Iche, Iche, that's how the Japanese say, Iche, Young Iche sent me these pictures of female core, female Kamui, with her full design uncensored, and you know, it's interesting, because it's not like it was a localization change made for the United States versions of Smash, the Japanese versions of Smash and all of them around the world all had the same sort of censorship for those thigh chaps. I'm sorry, I like those thighs, man. I, that was my favorite part of the design. I mean, the barefoot choice was cool too, and I like the hair as well. And the armor was so, and, and the dragon, everything about her is so cool. But the thigh chaps were one of my favorite parts, man. And when I saw they always weren't included in the game, they covered that up. I'm like, come on, Daddy Sakurai. I know you wanted the E rating, but Jesus Christ, man. It was just a little thigh action. Ain't nothing wrong with some thighs, my boy. But he, th this mod puts it back in. So as you can see, full thighs available there um and also they added some other color alterations too smash mods have been doing this for months now but this is awesome to see on the female comedy i like the fact that they were able to bring that design choice back i mean i think it looks damn good on her and i feel like that's a huge part of the appeal of the design itself i mean male corin he's fine but comedy she, she was always like affected in that sense but it still didn't make me say you know i'm not gonna play her or whatever but i'm glad to see that these moves are being made here so obviously your boy did a little research to try to find out how I can do this for myself because you know me I'm always behind the curve because YouTube takes up so much of my time in the background that I really have time to look up other stuff that I'm interested in um, except for rare occasions but anyways I tried to look this up I was like yeah I need to find this shit and I found the person who made that specific mod and he said decided to make the core texture I want love it already but it ain't completely done yet she looked done to me my boy that's all I'm saying but it, it looks really good guys and just in general to have the knowledge to mod and smash 
I wanted to find out how to do so for myself for the future because I saw Shofu streams. That boy be having all kinds of crazy shit going on in his characters. So I wanted the same thing for myself and I was able to find out some information. Um, big thank you to um, Disorient for linking me to the information on how to do the mod and in general how to get mods working on my Wii U. Big time help right there and apparently they have a bunch of skins for a bunch of characters but Corrin as well too. They got the Azura Corrin and um, as you can see it has the leg chaps uh, uncensored as well too. Um, and a whole bunch of stuff is on this website. I haven't combed through the entire thing yet but I'm going to link this in the description for you guys. If you were wondering how people were able to pull these mods seemingly out of their dick holes you now know the information for yourself so you can try to hook this up maybe help your boy out with trying to hook it up on my own um i'm gonna try to find some time to do this later today but anyways dudes that is pretty much all the information besides some other light stuff fire emblem face has finally come out in the uk in europe in general and i'm so happy for you guys because you're finally able to embark on the best fire emblem arguably arguably i not just according to me but a lot of other fire emblem veterans have told me this is the best fire emblem ever made <coughs> That sickness, oh god! Don't you fucking sick, man. How the hell are you gonna make. How, you, how the hell are you gonna make fun of a sick nigga? I don't wanna see any comments talking about, oh, edica has got fucking. fucking Ebola, he's got the fucking Zika virus. Like, I don't wanna hear no bullshit like that, man. I'm fucking sick! What the fuck's wrong with you, man? You really gonna make fun of a sick black dude? Well, you're all twisted, man. But anyways, we have Fire Emblem Fates finally being released in Europe. I think it came out like maybe a, two days ago or something. Or maybe it came out yesterday. Don't remember exactly. But the game is out and you guys have the special edition, which is a little bit different from ours over here. I think you get a steelbook over there and you get a map. Things that I wish we got over here in America, but it's all good. I'm just glad to see my English boys, my, my, my fucking uh, German boys, all my Europe boys able to join the Fire Emblem bandwagon. So maybe some of you guys can join us in the streams now and watch the videos as well. That would be cool. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know if there's anything else that's interesting that you think I would get an erection for when reporting on. Um, and of course, you can do that on Twitter. I'll talk to you later on. Peace out.